So hello, hello, hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. My name is Sayam and welcome back to the channel, right? Today we're gonna solve this very interesting problem. It is an easy problem, but I would rate lead code. If this is easy, then what is medium? I will definitely rate this problem a medium problem. Good edge cases, good, good problem means good implementation skills. Like people after seeing this problem, what is easy? Oh, I feel depressed, but don't feel depressed. It is really a good problem, good implementation problem. We'll see through that how can you can solve it. Very in a clear path. See, in these type of questions, these are design problems, right? You have to design something. You have to write some edge cases, write clean code, and you will write faster, right? I will show you the method, show you the code, and show you the intuition and thought process. With that note, let's get started with the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you to subscribe to the channel. You are given three arrays of length and describe the properties of n coupon code business line n is active. Basically, you have three arrays. Hai. Code array, code, business line. Okay, business to hai nahi, but business line we have and is active. The coupon is active or not. Cool. Code I represent the coupon identifier. Business line represent the type of business involved is active whether this coupon is active or not. Coupon is considered valid. See, read these kind of questions very, very carefully because there are some hidden edge cases that might not be accepted in the first coin contest. You have to read it very carefully. And either in practice, it's fine. Coupon is considered valid if all of the condition or all of the condition hold. A code I is non-empty and consists of only alphanumeric characters. Mark my words, only alphanumeric characters and underscores. Either it have Underscores either would have and means both of them. No, means like don't know me say like anything will work. Either it have underscores, it have alphameric or both. Both will work. Business line should be is one of the following. It is not that uh, these are the only business lines. No, no, no. I have misread this question. You have to read it carefully. Only these. Otherwise, the coupon is not valid. And third thing, it should be active. That is easy to check. It's very easy. This I forgot. And this I also forgot. So read the question carefully. Coupon is valid because all of these three conditions should be valid. It should exist. Written an array of the codes of all valid coupons. Firstly, the, it, we have to find the valid coupons. And then sort by the business line in the order. That is also important. Firstly, all electronics should come. Then all grocery coupons. Then pharmacy coupons. Then restaurant coupons. And then the code also. If you group something, right? This should also be sorted. This should also be sorted internally. And these four blocks, something like that, right? It should be working like that. The firstly, what electronics is coming, then grocery is coming, then pharmacy is coming, then restaurant is coming. And then code in lexographical order, each category. Read every line of the question very, very carefully. That will help you to understand this code better. And after reading this, you get, oh, so much implementation. It is not Mark my words, it's not just have patience, just whatever it's saying, just do that. It's not, it's a lengthy question, but yeah, cool. Uh, after reading this, firstly, we go to the constraints. Do we need to bother about constraints? Not at all. In easy question, generally, there is no constraint barrier. But okay, we don't need to bother about constraint. That is perfectly fine. Here, firstly, let's try to identify all the valid coupons, right? Because that is the most important part. Otherwise, it is not useful. So, what I'm going to do is, I got a coupon and now I have to validate three things, right? Three equations, three conditions, three will check. So is active, so it's very easy to check directly with the help of the array. We will check it. Now, is valid business? We'll write a function because see, write clean code because this is the industry standard code we are writing. Don't mess it up. You will not able to dig up your code yourself. That is why very, very important. Name them very good and write very good logic and independently write it so that you can easily debug is valid business so what are you gonna do you gonna pass the business whatever is the business you can say that business of i you will pass it here and you will check whether it is of the four items or not you can check easily that i think just checking either of these strings and the third thing you have to check here is valid code you have to check Absolutely. How you can check that? So you're going to code again a string code of I. How you can check that is it is a valid code or not? So there is a very good function. You can search also. It's lnum, which will tell you whether it is an alphabet 
character num numeric or not it will automatically detect you don't need to think about anything you just pass the character and you will automatically return a true if it is alpha num character or not right with that we can put a or condition that the c character c is a character in the our string code of i can be equals to underscore also that also it could happen that is very very important so you can check that out as well right another thing we we can miss is in this case is not covered is what they mentioned string should be non empty also right so s dot size dot greater than 0 also this is also very very important okay don't forget that because see these small small details are mentioned in the question so important okay so s dot size should be greater than 0 alpha num and this this is the condition to check the is valid code whether the code is valid or not directly it will tell you al alphabet num headache removed just put a or condition for underscores and this is also one more edge case that s dot size should also be greater than 0 because these won't be covered in these cases okay you write three these three independent is valid functions now you got a valid code now what you need to maintain is group them by the business line how you can group them by the business line and also keep the whatever item in a particular grip in a sorted order how you can do that so it's very simple uh if you think about a data structure which can do it efficiently is definitely a map because it helps in grouping so what you going to do put a string as key now which is a business line and now you want to keep the element in a sorted order also you can use another map but why you use a map you can use a set but very important and very interesting i got this edge case you cannot use a set you have to use a multi set it could be duplicate in the items also see i missed that that is another edge case so you have to use a multi set interesting problem one go if you get it correct heads off to you i also get it wrong one sort twice i guess twice but okay i know the implementation but still i am not able to do it in one go i am just agreeing that fact that so it's a good problem so you can say that mp this is how you can group them so whatever you can do you can put like mp of whatever business business of i you can insert the current code of i right it will automatically sorted it automatically group nothing we have to do it's done and dusted very interesting that people will think oh sayam you have not done this thing also it should be firstly sorted by the in order like firstly electronics should come then grocery should come then phar pharmacy should come then restaurant should come you have not sorted that my friend my dear friend map sorts the key and beautifully they already sorted the keys like if you think about the grocery electronics will come lexicographically first then grocery then pharmacy then restaurant they have given you a think and see this observation you don't need to sort it right you need to sort it like lexicographically and map already sort the keys in the lexicographical order so if you iterate in the map it is actually in the same order so you don't need to worry about that thing as well so this is an interesting and nice observation so what are you going to do just iterate iterate in map and your job is done so iterate in map and each key i iterate in now iterate in each key each key and just put answer dot push back whatever string you got whatever string you got and your job is done and some edge cases to cover i have show, showed you that this is the edge case that it should be multi set not set firstly thing here i miss that okay uh, you have to read this is save 20 is not a valid coupon code it's contain a special characters so we already handle that case we using is valid thing and here the business also couldn't be invalid i didn't read the pro question properly the business could also be in a uh, uh, wrong so you have to read it that okay invalid is not being considered so you have to check the business line also right so i hope you understood the entire thought process let me just quickly show you the implementation and i have clean implementation let me just quickly show you so yeah this is my implementation what i did firstly i implemented three functions is valid business is active so was already there so i don't need to implement that's why i implemented only two functions is valid business very simple you just need to check oh is it electronics is it grocery is it pharmacy is it restaurant be sure that spellings are correct return true otherwise return false if it is a valid uh, string owner valid code owner i should write valid code by the way i didn't write it i bet the nomenclature should be correct so s dot size is equals to equals to zero that is also another edge case don't forget that because it won't be covered here 
for CAT-C in as I just checking is it is alpha nu or it's not both like it is not underscore also it is not alpha num also then I will return straight away return false otherwise I will return true. CAT-C in as is just an iterating method you don't need to write int n is equal to s dot size this is a cool way of writing learn these tricks from me from me because these are very very important you can write very fast code right this is fine this is fine and just i data structure i thought about how i thought about it this comes from practice that okay i have to group them i have to sort them i used to set a multi set but you have to use a multi set and you have to use a map why you use a map you cannot use an ordered map very very important because you need to sort the keys also that's why i use a map not an ordered map then I go to the this and just checking three conditions if it is active or not, if it is valid or not, if it is valid business or not. And then I insert this business I into this code and then just finally iterating. No need, no sorting. Automatically everything is done. Right. I hope you understood it. Entire con concept. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video. Then till then, keep learning. Goodbye.